Hello, how's it going everybody? Welcome to yet another Transformers review and today's review, as you can see by the title page <laughs> I'm mad at Galvatron Let's do it! Yes, those of you that pay attention to my channel <laughs> um, will already know I've already reviewed uh, Armada Megatron. Now, this guy is not much different whatsoever, but he deserves a review all of his own because it, even though it is essentially, cosmetically, it looks like it is the same mode, same tank mode, same robot mode and everything is the same figure compared to Amada Megatron um, but yeah this is obviously Galvatron so yeah I'm just so happy to have this guy to go alongside Megatron and uh, oh yes I come prepared I have my Megatron right here as well as a comparison obviously in his robot mode here but um yeah, so goddamn happy to get this guy. As I mentioned in my uh, review, um, you know, I got this guy literally just as a bare base, bare bones figure, no accessories, and through the kindness and generosity of certain people within the community, Transformers community, I managed to salvage all of his parts. And in the review for this guy. I always, as a, when I was a kid, I always wanted this, this figure and I never got him. And um, so I was really happy to actually have this guy finally in my collection. Um, considering it was a, a figure that I wanted from being a kid, never got it. And I now have him. So I wasn't really planning on getting Galvi. Um it was just, obviously this guy was obviously a purchase, uh, another purchase of mine that I got from TF Nation 2022. And um, I saw some pictures of this version of him and I thought, I have to get it. It's the same figure, but I just really love the colour scheme on him. Um, I mean, this colour scheme is really quite cool on Galvatron. You know, you've got such a variety of different colours, and you would never thought in a million years these colours would actually go together. Um, and you would not really represent this colour palette for... I mean, it does feel, it, you know, with the grey, with the, with this uh, slightly off-whitey grey colour, um, on camera it's coming up as actual white, but it isn't proper white it's kind of like an off or like an off white so it's kind of approaching a very very light gray um to the naked eye but with that kind of color palette you would come to expect like a g1-esque megatron with that color um, and then obviously the darker color tone which you know so i don't know whether there was him trying to embrace the G1 colours a little bit, um, but then they jazzed it up with this burgundy kind of colour on the uh, on the gun barrel turret um, and on the sides here, like here and on the sides and everything, just to kind of jazz it up a bit more. But I do love the colours, you know, you've got like, it's like about four different colours on this altogether. You've got black, like um, a very light violet purple colour then you've got this burgundy colour then you've got a kind of like a very very dark grey it's not quite black it's more like a dark grey um, and then you've got yellow so a very nice colour palette indeed for this guy of course he comes with his uh, minicon companion right here clinch so this time around, his name is Clench. Um, I believe 
it's leader one the name for megatron um so this time it is clench it is pretty much exactly the same same figure uh, let me get leader one as a comparison it pretty it is literally identical to you know literally they are exactly the same just as you know so clench leader one exactly the same just a different color um let's transform him and uh there we go little clench it's like the same figure but i do love the amada toy line um i think this is probably one of the best gimmicks for for a transformers toy um but it's one of my personal favorites is this kind of gimmick where you have these little little transformers and i've got a bit of a soft spot for these even though they are so basic but i just think they have a little bit of charm to them i just think they've got some sort of charm to them even though they're so basic but yet you know they do have a function and obviously they help to bring out hidden weaponry on the figures um so yeah really cool so clench very cool little guy so i'm going to transform him back again because uh it'll make things easier when we um when we transform the big man so here we go so yeah as you can see exactly the same as galvatron so I'm just alliterating what I've already kind of spoken about. But yeah, as you can see, you have all these ports all over him here. Um, one here, and there's one there, there's one there. There's, there's, there's literally everywhere there is a port for him um, to unlock something and to pop up and whatever. Um, so yeah, so let's get him transformed, shall we? We've had him in this mode for long enough. As you can see as well, I just need to point out, I am missing this guy's uh, missiles. He's not 100% complete, he's missing the missiles. Hence why I have this guy with me, because I can put, for the, for the review's sake, I'm going to take Megatron's, even though they're not the right colour, um, I believe the missiles are, the, are this colour that the turret is, um, but... It doesn't matter, it, it, they're both exactly the same. Um, so just for the review sake, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna borrow Megatron's missiles and I'm gonna put them in. So just for the sake of the review. Um, I mean I'm not all that bothered that this guy doesn't have his missiles, it's just nice to have this variant to go alongside him. They just look so good next to one another on the shelf. Um but anyway. So once we get him transformed, I'll well, actually, you know, I'll do it now. No, I won't, I won't do it now because that, otherwise I'll lose him. Um, I'll wait. I'll transform him first. So let's transform him. So first things first. Very simple. Ba -bom -bom, ba -bom -ba -bom. Like so. And then uh, oh, these heel bits. Da da. Like da da da. Like so. And then uh, bring the feet like that, and that finishes off the legs. Then get that out of the way. 360 swivel of those legs. That finishes everything off there. Nice. Then we come to the top. Open these panels. Flip out. Come here, top. Is the arms. Very nice. There we are. And then last but not least, got this little badge thing here. Pull down. Reveals his face. And there we have him. Galvatron in rubber mud. So put a Megatron next to him. They are literally, obviously identical. Um, 
This guy seems to have a little bit more paint application to him compared to this guy. As you can see on Galvatron's chest, um, there's actually m the, the the black bits are more refined. That the um, like, for instance, on this guy's chest, you've got these bits that are black, and you've got grey and orange. Um, but I've, I've noticed. The paint application is a little bit more refined on Galvatron, even though it is exactly the same moulding and everything. It's just they've taken a little bit more time and effort on, on Galvatron. I do prefer this fully black border around the chest. Um, and uh, yeah, and obviously, as you can see, the colour palette for Galvatron in robot mode, you can see... The diversity in the colours, in the colour palette, you know, you've got such a <laughs> interesting combination. You've got this, like like I said, this off, like an off-white on the legs. Kind of like an off-white grey, very light grey. Um, then you've got black on the tank treads. Then you've got this like burgundy colour here. And then you've got this... All I can only see is like a violet purple, like like a very very light violet colour on his abdomen and the forelegs and his hands and arms and on the shoulder blades. And then you've got like an actual deeper, more like a pink colour for the Decepticon insignia. Yeah, and then obviously as you can see the head skull, the head um, has the same burgundy kind of colour on it and it's got gold it's got pink and it's got a dark the face itself is a very very dark um, grey and then you've got red painted red eyes and the horns just look at these horns look how vibrant the colour is on those horns now yeah they are pretty damn cool they're like a, like a pink and Pink and, pink and gold. Um, even though bringing in Megatron again, I do love the I do love this combination. Obviously, this uh, like a a dark grey uh, kind of colour uh, with orange, and yeah, it pops, it works, and obviously you know, it, uh, you know Megatron's got a pretty cool pretty cool head you know the paint on the head the face is pretty cool as well um but yeah it's just yeah i just absolutely love galvatron's paint applications it's pretty cool so again exactly like megatron this is literally all oh listen to that you don't they don't make toys like this anymore big clunky Ratchet joints. Um, yeah, so that's literally all the articulation he's got is the arms rotate, and then you've got swivel of the of the elbow. Like this and the elbow goes up and like that, and then I think the head. Yep, head moves a little bit, and the legs literally just do that. Just go outwards. So don't go. Front or back, it's just a, a stuff. The limb legs are pretty much static, um, but it's it's still cool. Such a cool figure. So now then, now we're going to get on to functionality. So this is where this little guy comes into it. So like I say, I mean some of these parts I don't think do anything. If I'm if I'm right by seeing so, yep. Some of these are literally just stationary, just optional pegs. So, like, there's this one on his left arm, um, on this arm. I don't think it does anything, but it's just so you can you can put him on there if you want. So it actually acts just like a, a weapon. So it goes on that arm, so you can actually use him for blasting blasting Autobots. Um, and then on this side, you've got another one. But it's a gold colour. And uh, obviously this one does have a function. Um, 
deposit it on there, pull it down, like that, and uh, yeah, there we go, better. You get a little knife dagger, which is pretty cool. Pop it in, pull it down, and uh, again, just like Megatron, you get his little his little dagger, which I think is actually quite cool. I do actually think that's really cool. Now he has a dagger. <laughs> Come here, Optimus Prime. Let me carve out your optics. Um, yeah. And then let's take this guy off again. And then we've got this one here, which is just static. But this, I should have showed this in tank mode, actually. I didn't think that. But this opens up. So in tank mode, I'm guessing this is like a ramp thing. So um yeah, so like an Autobot Decepticon rolls up and then there is a panel that's sorry not a panel, there's like a lever here that pulls out and this claw comes out of his comes out and must be able to grab an Autobot and yeah. Dispose of them in his little leg cavity thing there. Um, so there's that one. Well, like I said, there is a pot on there as well, but I think it's, it's just a, a normal one. And then there's one here as well on this side. But I think that one's stationary as well, but this opens up. Yeah, so this leg compartment, it pulls out like so. And then it allows you to then open it up um, like so. I mean, I don't exactly know what that is all about, but um, yeah, it, I don't know. I don't know what that's actually meant for. But anyway, so there's that as well. So getting clench again. So like I say, you've got all sorts of functionality. And then obviously you've got his battle mode. Which is, he has two ways that he can use his um, tank turret. As you know, um, he could just simply just turn it around like this and then bring it through. So you have his, uh, have the turret just poking through, like so. Or you can pull up. The waist, Let's just put him down. There we go. I don't want to do that. Bring it up, and then that then allows you to hopefully to twist. I know you. Come on. There we go. And then bring it back down. So then you bring it completely forward. Put the turret forward and then you've got a port I've got a port there and also there uh, you don't really need to put him in there you can just pull that forward and in so then you've got the uh, missile launcher that pulls out so this one here which I think is pretty cool that, that, that spring mechanism on this guy is actually still quite quite strong um, so I don't think this has been played with very much, to be honest. But anyway, so you don't really need this guy on there. It just it'll go up and into there. So you've got that, and then get clench, put him on here, and then you can just simply go. It's a bit stupid, but you yeah, know, you get the point. I think he does it in the in the show where he goes like where he brings it out. He just goes, doo -doo 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 -doo. <laughs> just fucking brilliant. Yeah. So let's bring it back up. Bring it back round. It's a normal. So yeah, so you've got all sorts of different functionality with this guy. Um, 
you know, all these different ports. I mean, obviously, it's designed as well because this guy can combine with other figures within the Amada line. Um, so you can actually get, like, you know, the set of ones that, like, come apart. You know, you've got certain characters. I think Tidal Wave is one of them um, or something. But there's certain characters that come apart and they will... They can actually combine with Galvatron or Megatron and they uh, kind of have a, like a combined mode similar with Optimus Prime, for instance. Um, yeah. Uh, also, one thing I forgot to mention, Clinch actually has a, obviously he's got this mode and his robot mode, but he also has a handgun mode. So, yeah, um, I don't know. I think he can, uh, he can either do it like this, but man's a little bit floppy. Uh, on the legs um so you can either have it like this so it's like a long blaster um but like i said those legs are a bit fl floppy but i've seen another way obviously these legs can come up like this so that seems a little bit more steadier i know it looks a bit stupid but you know it it, it actually is a bit more of a stronger way of doing it so you can actually get so yeah, so basically these, which are his robot, like his robot, his little hands, you can actually use this fist. Oh, I'm getting the wrong figure. I'm a, such a noob. Galvatron. Um, so basically, just get his post and uh, let me get it in there. Yeah, the. It's a bit loose. Clench is a little bit looser compared to the other guys. So. There we go. Better. So yeah, you can actually hold him as an actual hand weapon. So he's actually like a blaster. And like I showed you before, that this uh, this post here, you can go on there. That's what that's for. Is that you can actually have him like like a like an arm mounted blaster or his, a hand you can actually put him in his hand which is pretty cool as well so obviously he has like three functionalities he's got a robot mode a gun mode and a vehicle mode so yeah but to just include that while i remember but i think that's everything on this guy um i'm going to revert him back to uh rob uh, to vehicle mode and I'm going to pop in the missiles from Megatron uh, so you can get a proper look at him um, all together. So here he is, all armed up with missiles. So obviously the missiles are exactly the same as I keep mentioning. Um, so yeah, so obviously the missiles for Galvatron would be, I believe, the same colour as this. Um, but well, like I say, I don't have the missiles for him. I'm not all that bothered whether I get them or not. But um, at least I'm f fortunate to have a complete get Megatron. Um, so I'm able to actually demonstrate what he looks like. You know, what, what, you know, what you can come to expect uh, with the missiles. Um, so yeah, I'm not going to fire them because I don't want to lose them. But I also forgot to mention about these. Um... There's like a trigger just here. Let me just get that out of the way. And then they just pop open. And then you get additional parts. So I, I think uh, this is obviously like his battle station mode. So basically any other minicons, you can literally just plug in shitloads of minicons. And you basically have a one bot army literally just going out. And destroying Autobots left, right, and centre with his entourage of minicons. Um, so it's just so cool. It's like the, you know, the playability factor with this guy. Even though he is so um, simple when it comes to articulation, but there is so much playability factor with him. Even though he doesn't move, he doesn't have knee joints. He doesn't have, he doesn't have full articulation that you would come to expect from a modern day figure um but it's just it's just so fucking cool so awesome also there is lights and uh, 
late some electronics as well um i believe i think yeah that, that this up this decepticon logo here is supposed to light up but it doesn't have batteries in the megatron doesn't either um i am bothered putting any batteries in because knowing my luck i'll forget and batteries they do tend to uh, leak if you leave them in for a long period of time they will leak and it could cause problems and i don't want to break the figure so I, I tend not to bother putting batteries in my figures to be honest if they've got sounds i mean i might do it just to demonstrate it uh, just to see if it, the the stuff's it, it's working correctly but um yeah i don't tend to usually do that but but yeah he is so fucking cool isn't he so fucking cool so yeah there is my review on Amada Galvatron with Clinch. And uh, so, yeah, I think I've covered all bases. If not, you'll be getting a YouTube Shorts update video if I've fucked up or missed something again. But, um, anyways, thank you very much indeed for watching. You have been awesome. I've been John, and uh, this has been my latest review. So, I'll be back very soon. Um, I'm due due back at work on Monday, so reviews will not uh, so uploads will be. I might only be I might only have time to upload once, or maybe one review next week, um, potentially a Friday, um, probably Friday I probably might upload a new review, so keep your eyes peeled for that, and uh, of course I'll be doing more reviews, uh, more reviews obviously I'll be doing more vlogs. And uh, I want to bring back the live streams. I want to try and at least do a live stream every week or other week. Maybe every week or every fortnight. I'm just going to see how things go there. But uh, anyways, thank you very much. See you soon.